Hi there. Welcome to the FreezeWorks 2018 learning series, your visual guide to our sample management software. If you're here, I'm guessing that barcode labels probably take up more of your time than you'd like to admit. Fiddling with a printer can be frustrating enough, so our hope is that we can make the software side of things more of a manageable experience for you. With FreezerWorks, you can create as many different label formats as your organization requires and assign them to the appropriate groups to streamline everyone's separate workflows. Label formats can be designed to have barcodes, human readable data, or a combination of the two. And you can personalize them much like a samples entry form or report with pictures and free text. Today, we'll go over all of this as I show you how to design a label format in FreezerWorks. Let's start by opening the configuration menu and selecting Data Entry and Display. Now click the Labels button on the mini menu. This opens the Configure Barcode Label List view. From here, you'll create and maintain your label formats. Click Add New to create a new label format. Start by giving your format a name. Then you should determine whether you want to print this label for samples or aliquots, and how many of each. This is only a default setting, and can be changed at any time during printing no matter what. If you'd like, you can also include any notes you find important for future users. Next, we're going to select the type of label this format will be printed on. Currently, we are set to a standard wraparound portrait label, according to the heading, picture, and dimensions on the left. The format area in the middle also corresponds to the type of label selected. So if this is not the label type you'll end up using, you should change this before configuring what's actually on the label. That way you don't have to reconfigure if things don't fit the same. For instance, if I select a combo label, the format area changes drastically. I'm going to change it back to the standard wraparound portrait label. But you pick your label type and follow along even if your format area is different. Now before we put any fields on here, why don't we give our label a heading and a logo? To add free text, Click the T button in the bottom toolbar. The text tool is now activated, so if we come back up to the format, we can click and draw the space where our free text will be. When you let go of the mouse, a text object appears. Enter the text you'd like, such as video label, and click Done. Now the text object can be dragged around and resized. If we want to modify the text itself a bit, however, say, to make it bigger, simply double-click the object to bring up font options. Let's increase the size and bold it. Click Done, and voila! Our heading looks more like a heading now. Now let's add a logo. Click the camera button in the toolbar below. Then click and drag on the format to create a picture object. When you let go of the mouse, your Operating Systems Explorer window will open. So go ahead and find the picture file you need, and open it. The picture will appear in the space you drew. Feel free to resize it if you like, and if you just don't like the look of it, make sure it's highlighted, and hit your delete key to get rid of it. Now I'll keep mine. Now we need to add the actual data that will be appearing on the format. On the right side, you'll see the standard list of fields separated by related inventory table. Currently, we are looking at samples fields. If I click the aliquots button, we're looking at aliquots fields. Let's click and drag unique aliquot ID to the label format, since this is my ID field for aliquots and needs to be on the label. When I let go, I am presented with the various options for the field. The top box is for the readable format options. If you would like the data in this field to be normal text and readable, all you have to do is set these font tools how you want and click Done. However, if you'd rather the data be displayed as a barcode, click one of these three buttons, Standard, Data Matrix, or PDF 417. We suggest most users choose the Data Matrix, as it holds more data in less space, allowing you more room for additional information. After clicking the Barcode button, the label format will reappear with the Data Matrix barcode for Unique Aliquot ID now in the place I dragged it to. While configuring your label, you'll notice that different objects have different border colors. Text objects are blue, picture objects are dark gray, barcoded fields are green, human readable fields are light gray, and red will appear if an object's data could possibly be truncated. I'll demonstrate this 
by placing aliquot type on my label. As you can see, we have a red border around the aliquot type field object, and the info in the bottom right box tells us exactly why. The maximum field length for aliquot type is 15 characters, and this object can only fit 13 at its current size. To fix this, we'll double click the object, take the font size down to 6, where the maximum number of printable characters is 15, and click Done. Now the human readable field object has a light gray border, indicating that there is no longer an issue. I'll go ahead and add one more field to our label, FreezeWorks ID, a sample identifier. And we'll use a standard barcode. Why don't we organize these objects too? I'll highlight them all and use one of these alignment tools that can be found in reports and samples entry configuration. Alright, now that we've configured our label, we can click the Print Preview Page button and test it out. Here is a preview of our label. If we wanted, we could select our printer and give it a whirl. I'll go with my Zebra printer, then click Print Test Label. And there's my printer doing its thing. My label looks good, so I think we can assign this to our groups and start using it. Make sure to do so either before you save or as you save, like so. And that about does it for label configuration. Next time we'll use our label throughout FreezerWorks and see the various places in the program where a label can be printed. Thanks as always for watching, and see you next time.